Hi everyone, in this video I will show you the top 5 features in the new Translate app that made by Apple on iOS 15 or before. Let's go! If you go to Translate app on iOS 15, tap on enter the text and tap on text from camera you can select any text from anywhere and uh, on, as you can see select it and set then after that you can translate in Spanish or any language you will choose from here If you open the translate app, you will find there is two ways to translate. The first one is normal translation, just type the text, choose the languages and translate. Second way is like making a conversation. So all you have to do is choose the languages, start and say the words and the app will know which language has been spoken and will translate it to the other one. That's easy. How are you? Olivia And you can make face to face conversation if you are sitting next to someone Now the translate app is built in on iOS system now. If so if I selected any text from anywhere I can translate it. Let's see how. If I go to Safari for example and I select the text from Safari, I can translate this text to any language I want. And I can change from here and I can translate. And I can copy tra transition and open on the translate app. I can do this on the photos itself. I can select any text from any photo and I can translate as well. I can do this in any app, anywhere. Just select the text and translate. If you want to translate while you are offline, Go to settings, go to translate, downloaded languages and you can download any language you want just to translate while you are offline. And you can check this option if you want always the app to translate as offline but it will not be accurate as an off and online. So this is up to you if you want to always translate offline mood or once you are offline, just translate offline. Once you are online, we'll translate online. Now Siri can translate for you using the Translate app. Hey Siri, translate, how are you in French? you can translate this as an offline if you download the language from the settings one extra feature and you can now add this favorite by tapping on the star icon and save the translation for you it will save it in the favorites app in the favorite in the translate app in the favorite section here so you can access this and you can save it and memorize it if you are learning a new language for example and that's it these are all the new features until now i hope you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe to support us and see you in the next
video.